Hey there guys, how's it going? Thief King Bakura 13 here, and today I have a new opening for you guys, and um, I think it's a pretty cool one. We've got a Speed Duel um, deck here to open. It's a starter deck, Duelist of Tomorrow, so it's kind of like three mini decks, I guess. So we got um, Kaiba, Joey, and Mai, and you can kind of see all the cards uh, on the back. So we got some cool stuff. Uh, blue eyes, tyrant dragons, kind of some basic stuff. Um, as you can see, you get three decks, uh, sixty-three commons, three ultra rare uh, variant cards, and nine skill cards, uh, and one double-sided uh, double deluxe game mat. So, and then you get the dueling guide too. So, uh, and then I also got some bonus uh, legendary duelist uh, sisters of the rose um, blister packs to open for you guys. So, we're gonna go ahead and open the speed duel. Um, uh, like mini decks first, I guess. See what uh, that's all about. Um, that's kind of cool. So that's my. And uh, let's see. All right. So these are the. Uh, I think these are the variant cards that you get. The uh, ultra rares. That's the game mat. We're gonna look at that in a second. We'll take everything else out here. So I think you get 20 cards each in uh, these little mini decks. Okay, so here's here's what Joey looks like, uh, and then uh, and you got Kaiba's little mini deck here with his little blue eyes. I think that's it. Um, I guess we're we're gonna go ahead and look at the game mat real quick. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into like the difference between speed dueling, I guess, and regular dueling and all the new rules. Um, I guess you could. Uh, I guess you could say it's kind of like a dual dual links. I've never played dual links. It's like a mobile phone game, I guess. It's been out a couple of years for Yu-Gi-Oh. As you can see, the game is completely different. It's much smaller. Three. Uh, it's only like three monster card zones, three spell and trap uh, card zones. Obviously, no pendulum uh, zones, and no uh, extra deck zones. So there's no really link monsters or pendulum monsters. You got. You do have an extra deck. Uh, I mean zone here, but it's not like um, it's only for like fusion monsters and stuff like that uh, and uh, I think it's like 5 to 15 uh, Fusion monsters or whatever I think and you only have like 20 to 40 cards in your deck as opposed to 40 to 60 So it's a much quicker game and simpler game. I think than regular dueling. So I think what we can do is if I can do it carefully without tipping anything over um, maybe I'll just lay the mat down like that, have that as a, the background here. <laughs> can move some stuff out of the way here. That's kind of cool. I do like it. You got Dark Magician and Blue Eyes right there. And, uh, we'll open up the, um, the Ultra Rares first. Like the little promo pack that you get, which I think is really cool. Okay, so, um, let's see here, uh, let's, there we go, so you get a Champion's Vigilance, a Fusion Gate, that's really cool, and then you get a Amazonist Village, which is definitely a My Valentine card, that's kind of neat. Alright, so why don't we start with, uh, hmm, who do we start with? We'll start with Kaiba, because he's my favorite. Um, I don't even know how the heck you even open this. Okay, so it's kind of like a flat. So we'll see what we get in here. And the skill cards, like, that's a definite, definite uh, new feature for this game. I think you pick, like, one skill card uh, to use during a speed duel, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you don't use, like, all, all, the, spell, uh, all the skill cards you can get or in, in like, a, a, a deck, but... So you have Peak Performance, which is like a mountain field spell. Also, you can see the backs are different too than from regular um, like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, then you have Beat Down. Uh, let's see if it kind of refocuses here. There we go. And then you have Dragon Collar. So that's a cool picture of Kyla just laughing. And then, oops. And then you do get um, like some regular Yu-Gi-Oh cards here. 
Um, you get uh, you get your blue eyes. You get a couple of battle oxes. You get Ryukishin powered. I like some of these old school cards. That's kind of cool. You get a Lester Dragon number two. That's really good actually. Lord of Dragon, uh, Lord of Dragons. A couple of those. Twin headed behemoth. Uh, obviously that's a good card. I think one of the best cards you get in here is probably Tyrant Dragon. Um, that's very cool. So during your battle phase, if your opponent controls a monster after this card's first attack, uh, you can make a second attack. And uh, basically this card is unaffected by traps. And uh, if it's targeted, you can destroy the trap card. And this card cannot be special summoned from the graveyard unless you tri tribute one dragon monster. So that's really cool. Tyrant Dragon's a good card. You got Spirit Ryu. Kaiba Man, obviously a good staple here. Flute of Summoning Dragon, Stamping Destruction, Cost Down, Burst Stream of Destruction. Uh, we got Mountain, Interdimensional, Dragon's Rebirth, and Trap Jammer, which is really good. So Kaiba, you got some good cards for Kaiba right there. So I'm liking that. So we'll put Kaiba down there. Why don't we do Joey next? Let's see what we get with him. I really like these mini decks. I'm definitely probably going to go and get the the the, the, uh, the other one like uh, with like Yugi and uh, Pegasus and the and the uh, Ishizu. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. So we have. Uh, our three spell cards for Joey. Here we go. So we've got Grit. <laughs> That's kind of comic, like a comic book looking thing. Last Gamble. And Palamization. All right. What does this one do? That's kind of cool. During your turn, you may reveal one normal monster in your hand. This turn, that monster can substitute for any one fusion material. If you do, the other, uh, the other uh, fusion material must be the correct one. Um, this skill can only be used once per duel. That's kind of cool. And of course we got our classic red eyes. Meteor Dragon, which is a great ray print. You, I can never find this card anywhere, to be honest. Uh, Flame Manipulator. Uh, Masaki. Obviously those are fusion material for, um, Flame Swordsman. We got Alligator Sword. Baby Dragon. Time Wizard. Little Wing Guard. Copycat, Gear Freed, obviously, and then we got some uh, polymerization cards, Stray Lambs, Legendary Sword, Sojin, Dice Foon, Graceful and Skillful Dice, Kunai with Chain, uh, Red Eye Spirit, that's a great uh, reprint here. And then we got some fusion monsters uh, for Joey. We got Flame Swordsman, Thousand Dragon, that's a great card, and uh, Alligator Sword Dragon. So not bad at all. I like Joey's mini deck here. Um, oops. All right. Uh, so we'll go with my, obviously, uh, saved her for last because, um, my doesn't, my never really had a starter deck. So I think it's very cool that she kind of has like a mini one now for speed dueling. <laughs> I, I like that. I hope they do that with like more characters. I'd love like a Bakura, obviously for... Thief King Bakura 13. I love it if they did like a Bakura uh, speed dueling deck here. So, um, uh, there we go. So you have Aroma Strategy, you, and uh, you may look at the top card of your deck at any time. That's a good skill card, I think. It's not bad. Uh, then you have Flight of the Harpies. Um, and then you've got uh, Tribal Synergy. All right. Let's look at some of her cards here. Obviously, you're going to get the Harpy Ladies. We got one, uh, two, and three. Uh, then we have Harpy Lady Sisters. That's an old school awesome card. And then we get some Amazonas, Amazonas cards too. So we have Amazonas Chainmaster, uh, Amazonas uh, Swordswoman, Amazonas Sage, uh, a Bird Face. This is cool. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can add one Harpy Lady from your deck to your hand. So that's cool. So it kind of is like a Harpy Lady Searcher. We got a couple of Birdface uh, reprints there. Uh, Sonic Shooter. If there are no cards in your opponent's spell and trap uh, zone, this card can attack your opponent directly. If it does, the battle damage inflicted to your opponent is the original attack of this card. That's not bad. That's kind of cool. 
Then we got some Elegant Egotist cards here. Triangle Ecstasy Spark, that's a good reprint. Cyber Shield. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Amazonas Heirloom. Amazonas Archers. And then you get uh, Wind Windstorm of Et Etiqua. Change the battle positions of all face-up monsters your opponent controls. That's kind of neat. Shadow of Eyes and a Wild Tornado. So that's very cool. Put that there. All right. And now I think that's uh, ending with my as a good transition into our uh, bonus blister packs here. Legendary Duel Sisters of the Rose. So let's see if we can get some good Harpy Lady reprints. Um... Haven't opened many of these uh, duelist, these uh, legendary duelist uh, packs. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of them out of the blister or cardboard here, and uh, then we'll open up kind of all four at once. See what see what we get. Um, didn't have great luck the first time. I've opened up a few of these packs on my channel before. If you haven't seen that already. Um, didn't really get a whole lot of hollows or or great re, uh, great cards, but let's see. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully, get something cool. I know you get um, some Black Rose Dragon support too for uh, Akiza. All right. Let's see what we get. Oh, and we got C Cyber Angel stuff too. All right. So, come on. All right, it's having a little trouble focusing. There we go. All right, so we have Cyber Angel Dakini, Black Garden, Ritual Sanctuary, Cyber An or Cyber uh, Pettit Angel. That's cool. And a Harpy Lady Elegance. That's very cool. So uh, no hollow, but we got a cool rare. That's I believe it's got to be a new Harpy Lady card. I've never heard of that one before. So I'll take that. All right, second legendary duelist pack. Cool. All right, so we got a good reprint here. So we got a um, Harpy Lady Sisters. There we go. Uh, Construction Train Signal Red. Okay. Triangle Ecstasy Spark. So we got another uh, triangle. Oh, here we go. So we got a super rare... Merciful Machine Angel, not bad. And then we got a Lunar Light, Emerald Bird. I'll take that. Not bad. At least we got a, we got a hollow out of that. All right, so we got our third Legendary Duelist pack here. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it looks like we got something. It looks like we got a double here. So we have a, come on, oh, there we go. All right, so now we have a construction train signal red, and we got another one of those. We got a lunar light blue cat, another black garden, a harpy lady sister reprint, uh, another one, and we got a super dreadnought rail cannon Gustav Max. That is a mouthful. It's an Xyz monster. Okay. All right, we got one one last legendary duelist uh, pack to open. Nothing fantastic so far, so let's hope that we get some really good luck with this uh, last pack. So we get uh, another triangle ecstasy spark here. Come on, there we go. There. Oh, it was, it was like focusing for a second. Anyway. Uh, we'll put that there. And we have a Twilight Rose Knight. Let's see if it focuses a little bit better. There we go. And then we have a Cyber Angel Ida 10. I think that's how you pronounce it. Another Harpy Lady Sisters. And we end with a Lunalite Yellow Martin. All right, so nothing too crazy out of the Legendary Duelist Packs. But you know what? I'm very uh, happy with what I got out of, obviously, the Speed Duel deck uh, with uh, Kaiba, Joey, and Mai. I think those are really cool. Um, 
little mini decks that you get there, and the skill cards are neat, and I just really like the concept of speed dueling. Um, it's like much more uh, closer, I think, in my opinion, to like old school dueling, where we didn't have all these new rules and new ways of summoning monsters like Link Summoning and Pendulum Summoning and all that kind of stuff. So I think if uh, you're like a newer player, speed dueling might be for you to start out. And, uh, or if you're an older player and you haven't dueled in like forever, um, speed dueling will also be kind of a good way to kind of return to the game, um, slowly, I think, and step by, you know, like baby steps, I think. Anyway, um, thanks guys for watching. Um, uh, please uh, give the video a like, and if you haven't already, feel, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And uh, until next time, thanks again for watching. Bye.